policies are now having the media demonize and hype bad examples and then projecting it onto jurisdictions and police and sheriff's departments all over the country to make them the scapegoat for economic and cultural problems instead of it being the actual ruling establishment. Just like the very same mega banks that are tax exempt and get trillions of taxpayer money and bailouts are the ones funding the open borders, the ones funding the anti-gun moves, and the ones funding the push to raise taxes on the middle class. They scapegoat the middle class, like the greedy middle class, and people being well-to-do and upper middle class is what's hurting poor people. They blame scapegoats for the overall system of globalism that is so unpopular and that is creating so much poverty and ignorance. We've been monitoring MTV, and we've got a clip of this coming up, where MTV News, more than half their last month's newscast, were basically entirely about slap a white straight guy today, you know, free slaps, or whites are inherently bad. I mean, it is the most in just over-the-top attempt to hype minorities, which are now the majority in most areas of the country, into some type of minority KKK movement against white people. I mean, it's really happening to get us all at each other's throats. That will then drive whites in to be supporters of the central government and the rollout of the police state but then that'll be double backed again and used against everyone as well. So I'm going to break down the sophistication of this problem reaction solution plan and tie it back to the communist roots of so many people that are running uh, the society today coming up in the next segment. But I wanted to go over more of what's happening where all over the country, in fact, we have a clip of this we'll play in a moment, White people at parks, white people outside stores, white people uh, in parking lots, white people at the, the fairgrounds or in the mall, particularly just women who are alone or women with children, groups of black males and black females will just come up and beat them within an inch of their life, stomping their heads and saying, you shouldn't be in this neighborhood, you're white. And then MTV says in this report coming up, it's impossible for minorities to be racist. I mean, that's just the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard in my life. It's tribalism. All humans can act tribally. Everybody knows that. You got black psychopaths, white psychopaths. You got Hispanic psychopaths, Asian psychopaths. I mean, humans generally are, are pretty much the same. People vary within groups. Everything is about averages, but it is so wild to live in a country where they're banning the word boy and girl and where they've banned dodgeball and where they've banned all of these other words and where they're saying it's racist. Just to inherently exist. This is a push and a move to genocide any type of white Western culture. But that's because the globalists are exterminating everyone's culture. This is a full-on takeover. Let's go to this clip out of Milwaukee outside of a convenience store. If you're a radio listener, I'll narrate it. We're a young white woman. We can only play part of it because of profanity. Uh, is being beaten and stomped and kicked over and over and over and over again by two black racists. And then the media won't even run the clip in Milwaukee, but the media that has run it nationally says no one knows why, if you read the articles, no one knows why they attacked her. That's like the media saying no one knows why this, this, this Shannon J. Miles on surveillance camera goes up and pumps a full gun into the back, a full clip into the back of this sheriff's deputy in Houston. Well, you better believe if a white guy walked up and shot a black guy in the back, they would instantly say it was racial. And it is racial. And there's this idea, it's payback. Because the media will take 
examples of blacks being killed questionably, which we decry, and they will make it as if it is epidemic, which it's not, and project it onto white people and police in general. And I'm going to tell you coming up why this is being done. I'm going to, I'm going to lay it all out, but, but it's, it's important to look at the evidence that the new numbers are out from the Justice Department. What is it, 27 times more likely? Just last year it was 24 times to be attacked if you're white by a black person the other way around. And it's done because it's, it's seen as kosher. It's seen as acceptable. And MTV and MSNBC and the popular culture pushes it that white people are out doing all these horrible things and they deserve it. Let's go ahead and go to this clip from Milwaukee. This was just Friday. Here it is. He fought it. They jump in here. I mean, they're attacking her like they want to kill her. By the way, that's enough. I, I mean, let me just tell you, you do that to somebody, it's very easy to kill them. He's stomping her head full power into the concrete. And, I mean, you put people in comas like that, you kill them. And I have countless videos I can show you just in the last few weeks of the exact same behavior. In fact, can we pull up the one with the woman with the baby getting attacked and the baby has a big cut on its face? Everybody's laughing. Everybody, everybody's standing around. Ha ha, look at that white bitch. Look at that baby. Look at that kid. I mean, it is just frothing racism, frothing hatred. Because the White House, MTV, the literally is saying a white woman coming out of a store with diapers is a grand dragon or the national wizard of the KKK. And people are now on a holy crusade or jihad against the cracker. This is all White House run. Coming up, I'm going to delve into exactly what political correctness is and what the end game plan is and what the world will look like under this system. But here's an example. USA Today, Obama administration renames Mount McKinley, the tallest mountain in the United States, and changes it to a Native American name. See, setting the precedent that he's God. They pull down statues of a U.S. president and others at the University of Texas this weekend. Woodrow Wilson, which is fine with me. He gave us the private Federal Reserve and a bunch of other stuff, except it sets the precedent See, everything's being pulled down. Everything's being changed. Yeah, and foreign insurance companies wrote Obamacare as a giant screw job. It's all this window dressing. Don't say boy, don't say girl, father, mother, he, she. It hurts someone, so you can't use it, you can't say it. Now they're saying don't even use the word in the classes. See, first they pull down the statues, then they then they say, oh, we're changing the words and the paperwork. This is a cult that will control language because if you control language, people will get so dumbed down, you can't even communicate with them. And then, of course, earlier this week, we had a black man, didn't even mention that earlier, in context of the dead deputy, go and shoot a news reporter and the cameraman because they were white. And because he identified with the Black Lives Matter movement. And this is what is being called for by many people in the socialist-funded, radical, racialist, black movement. We're going to break down again why this is being pushed. But think about how outrageous... The establishment is MSNBC, CNN, MTV. Think about how twisted they are to actually promote an agenda that they know is going to get innocent people attacked on both sides. Because as this heats up, there will be unstable white people who will start striking back, and I fear it'll be spectacular. And then they're going to come in with the gun control. They're going to come in with federalization.
They're going to have the local departments capitulate and say, fine, we'll be federalized. Teach us all your political correctness. Stop shooting us. Stop killing us. There's a lot of angles to this. And again, I'm going to break it down in the next segment, how they're doing it, why they're doing it, and where it goes. It's just I can't believe that they're getting away with doing it in plain view. And in fairness to the sheriff uh, down in Houston, in the county that Houston resides in, I saw the headlines and saw the press conference on the news where they clipped it down. Police look for motive and killing of Texas deputy. And I said, we know the motive. It's the national climate. It's what's being pushed. And lo and behold, I actually found the transcript of what the sheriff actually said, strangely enough, at USA Today, linked from Drudge Report. And he said, quote, the national climate and what's being promoted nationally is what caused this. So, the, the, see, the sheriff did tell the truth, but that never even got out or, or was hard to find. And it creates a perception, oh, the sheriff's department says they don't know why he did it. But meanwhile, the sheriff's department has said they believe they know why. And the media just lies and says something they didn't say. It's so deceptive, I even get fooled. And I really try to do my research. I want to play part of this report as we get ready to go out to break. The whole thing's six minutes long. It's up on Infowars.com. Only whites can be racist. This is Paul Joseph Watson reporting for Infowars.com on this subject. We're going to talk about racism. According to MTV's Francesca Ramsey, it's impossible for black people to be racist. Ramsey claims that the dictionary definition of racism, the hatred or intolerance of another race, isn't the true meaning of racism. Because it's just the dictionary. Really? Isn't that convenient? So it's okay for social justice warriors to claim, just look at the dictionary definition when it comes to feminism. All you morons who are too f stupid to look up the definition of feminism. With no mention of the fact that radical feminism in practice has virtually nothing to do with the dictionary definition of feminism. But suddenly, different rules apply when you're talking about racism. Ramsey says black people can't be racist towards white people, only prejudice. Reverse racism is not a thing. First off, that has no legal basis whatsoever. According to the 1968 Civil Rights Act and the 1994 Violent Crime Control and Law Enforcement Act, a racially motivated hate crime carries the same punishment no matter the race of the perpetrator or the victim. Secondly, she claims it's only racism if it's backed by a major institution. But when a person of color discriminates or stereotypes a white person because of their race, in the United States, they don't have the institutional power to back them up and say that those feelings are okay. Oh, you mean like affirmative action? Major institutions of learning giving African Americans college places based on their skin color and not their academic achievement in favor of whites. Is that racist? Goldsmiths University, a major institution, refusing to fire student diversity officer Bahar Mustafa after she banned white people from attending a college event. Is that racist? Black on white crime, the major institution of media routinely ignoring or downplaying the fact that black people are 27 times more likely to attack white people than vice versa, while collectively blaming all white people when one nutcase goes on a rampage. Is that racist? Only white people can be racist. Really? The black people are racist, or the most racist people than any other race on this planet. Was it not racist when Bryce Williams shot dead Alison Parker live on air in order to create what he called a race war. Was it not racist when a gang of black radicals called for lynching whites and killing cops just days before deputy Darren Goforth was gunned down in cold blood? Was it not racist when the major institution of media refused to identify the suspect as black? Was it not racist when a black couple beat this white woman while yelling, wrong hood, bitch? Bitch, wrong hood, bitch. Wrong hood, bitch. Wrong hood, bitch. Is it not racist for the major institution, which is MTV, to endlessly make TV shows and YouTube videos lecturing white people about how racist they are? Seriously, this channel is called MTV News. Music Television News. Yet over half of the previous 24 videos 
have been about racism. Plus, it's completely inaccurate to claim that only major institutions